Hello, I'm Fran and you're watching a retouching tutorial for tipsquirrel.com. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an easy and realistic lightsaber to use in your Star Wars imagery. So let's get started. So I've got my starting point here, which is just the handle of a lightsaber, which can really help with the length and the width of the actual lightsaber itself to make it more realistic. So I start off with using the rectangle tool, which is just here. I'm going to create a thin lightsaber, something like that. Make sure that's white. And then I'm going to select a curved edge. So I'm going to put 15 pixels there, which will just curve the top of the lightsaber there. Once that's done, I'm going to right click and rasterize the layer. Then I'm going to come down here to the effects and I'm going to go to stroke. And pick a color, blue, green, red, pink, whatever you like. Make sure it's a realistic lightsaber colour, click OK. Maybe go for 5 or 10 pixels depending on how it looks. Let's have a look at 10 pixels. Probably a bit too much so I might go for maybe 6 or 7. Click OK. And I want the stroke on its own layer so I'm going to right click where it says effects. I'm going to go to create layer. I don't want it as a clipping mask, so I'm just going to release that. And I'm going to put that underneath. Next, I'm going to convert to Smart Object. So just right click next to the layer, and go to Convert to Smart Object. And this is where I'm going to add my blur. So I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And maybe select 5 pixels for the white. I'm just going to rename that white. Color. Then for the colour one, I'm going to add a bit more Gaussian Blur for that one. So maybe 10 or 15. Maybe 15. Click OK. And it's looking a little bit dull. So what we can do is we can duplicate the colour layer, which is Command J, to add a bit more colour into it. And I'm going to add a bit more white, so I'm going to Command J and duplicate that. The colour's still looking a little bit dull, so I'm going to hit Command and then click on the white layer here. Come to the bottom, I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to make sure that I've got my colour selected. And I'm just going to blur that a little bit. Just adding a bit more colour to that, and you can always add more Gaussian Blur if you want to really depends on your liking. Maybe I might go for 50 pixels. Just to extend the glow a little bit more. Might even add a bit more. Probably a bit too much there. Go for something like that. So that's looking really really nice and it's pretty much there for a realistic lightsaber. But what you can do if you want to change the colour, you can come down here to the adjustments panel click on hue saturation. I'm actually going to change the saturation just a bit just to give it a bit more vibrancy. But if you do want to change the colour you can use the hue slider and you can go through the entire colour wheel which is fantastic. So if it's a Sith Lord you're after you've got a nice red there or if it's Yoda you're after you've got the green there as well. So it's a great way of changing the colours very very quickly. And once you're done and once you're happy with the glow and the vibrancy you can group those together and you can use that effect on your images similar to this one which I produced last year. And that's the end of the tutorial, just a very quick way, very easy way of creating a realistic lightsaber. If you have enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like and share it with your friends as well, it really does help my channel grow so thank you. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. It's absolutely free and you'll be notified about my latest videos. Don't forget to check out tipsquirrel.com for the latest Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials. You can also follow me on Instagram at PhotoshopFran and on Twitter at PhotoshopPro. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in next week's video.